What's going on, there, fellow YouTubers? It's Chris back with you with the second video of the year. Um, this one's pretty cool. You're gonna like this. This one's gonna be brief, but nonetheless cool at the same time. This was from uh, Sal 1574. Um, so I believe they're up to 76 right now. Um, so it's only two days ago. And when I seen this photo, it just went, what the hell is that? What did the Curiosity take a photo of? It's small, and yet it doesn't look anything like the Martian surface at all. Let's have a look. Okay. You can see it right here. This is a NASA JPL laboratory. Uh, and this is, if you look down here, 1574. But check this out, guys. What did Curiosity capture in this photo right here? Now, let's go to the full resolution, if you want to call it that. Um, okay, so when I looked at this, I'm going, what is that sticking out of the ground? Now, let's see if we can zoom into this a little bit, and we'll have a better look. Um, let's see if we can get, uh, let's bring this up. Zoom in a lot more if we can. We'll go in 300%, and we'll have a look. Guys, what is that? Not only does it, it almost looks like some kind of goofy flute type thing or whatever the heck this thing may be. Now, I'm looking at this thing. Not only, you can see the shadow under it. It's thicker here, so at the base, has what looks like a neck and then something sticking out. And you can clearly see this neck, but it's more distorted the way they, I don't know, though it's just the way the light is being played on it, whatever the case may be. But I'm looking at this thing and I'm going, this thing has these little details. One, two, three details on this thing. What could this possibly be? Let's have a closer look at it. We're going to go ahead and just get back out of this and zoom back out. Uh, we can actually reset this to default. And let's jump into to, uh, Photoshop for a minute because this is cool. All right. This was the original photo. And this is at 100%. What I like to do is I like to add more uh, pixels to this and, and we'll blow this up a little bit. Uh, and you can see it right here. Uh, so we're still at 50% here and you can see it's much larger. But let's have a better look at this thing, guys. First of all, I like to take the fisheye lens crap out of it if I can. And the reason why I do this is because it, to me, when it's a fisheye lens, it stretches things out. I want to see things as they're intended or at least pretty close. So what I do is I just kind of did this to it. You can see you can just flatten out the ground just a little bit there to kind of get it in a little bit better perspective. Things are not so stretched out. So let's have a look at this thing and, and see what we can find. Now... To me, this thing is bizarre. And I'm going to zoom way in for people who have phones and these little tablets. Check this out. Whoops, my bad. What is that, guys? Look at the way this thing looks. Now, you can see it here. But again, whatever this thing is, is reflecting light. So it's got a distortion to it, if you will. And you can see where it, but it still has this one, two, three, almost like in progression, like it goes upwards. See it? Like one, this is a little higher, this is a little bit more higher. But whatever this thing is, this is what had me puzzled. I'm going to back out a little bit. I want to show you guys something. Clearly, you can see the wheel marks of the rover. There's one here. We'll back out again. We can see the overall. You can see this one, two of the marks of the or the tracks from the uh, Curiosity rover. So I'm going. Is it possible something fell off this rover? Well, then wouldn't it be just laying on the ground? This is clearly stuck in the ground. Something sticking out of the ground. Okay, what could do that? Is the ground really that soft that it could just go into it like a knife? Like if you throw a knife, like we used to do when we were younger, just and throw the knives into the ground. Is it possible it's that soft to do that? I don't believe so. And if it was that soft, this thing would be sticking out of the ground like that. If it was like a beach sand, you think it would just kind of stick in and then kind of... Of course, it depends on how far it went into the ground, of course. But what does that? And I even did this here so I can actually emphasize the actual tracks. So we can see this a little better. This was all fudged around with. I don't know what happened there. They did something here that kind of <clears throat> took that out. But so we can see clearly that this thing is not. This is not natural, guys. This is actually something here. Let's do this. I want to show you because I try to put a little sharpening on this, this thing to try to get this thing. But look at that one. Like I said, it goes in progression like one, a little bit bigger, two, a little bit more bigger, three. And whatever this thing is, it has a shadow to it and what looks like a little neck to it or something like that something sticking out or whatever and this is i don't know if this is just a stone with the shadow which it may very well be but clearly this is not a rock <laughs> this is not a rock and it's sticking out of the ground the, the martian surface so my point is or my question would be what the hell is it i mean there's no way to vet what this thing is but to me that's intelligently made i mean no ifs ands or buts about it 
Um, and here's another thing, too, I, I thought that was a little bizarre. When you look at this photo, again, they love to put this high contrast on everything. When you're looking at these rocks, when you bring down the brightness, suddenly they show a whole lot more detail. And you can see it right here. Like, what is that? Check this out. Like, there's, like, different details in here. What I notice about this, and again, I believe a lot of this is being covered up and being fake sand put over it, and I'll show you why. Uh, we'll do this real quick. Uh, we'll go to uh, CMYK mode. And I just want to show you this because this is this is pretty wild. Okay. Check the way this thing does this. I know you guys will be able to, be able to see this. Let's move it in. Do this. Check the way this thing does this. goes like this into the ground. This one comes out and goes like this and circles around. Is that a normal rock? Am I just seeing these things or is this actual true? I mean... Have a look at this, guys. Uh, right here. Well, I did that a little bit. I could have just done it this way. This would have been fine. Right about here. Okay. So when I'm looking at this, I'm going, well, okay, I can clearly see the shape of that going into the ground. And look at the way the patterns are on the ground. It's almost like they they went over this with like a fake sand to try to cover this up. And I can see the way this, this thing is. This was when I darkened it, but check this out. Look at the way that goes into the ground. It has these nice curves to it. Comes around and goes into this. And look at all these little tiny pieces that are in on this rock. Now, I'm not so really, I really don't care too much about it on the top of the rock, but when I seen this, I'm just like, what is that? You know what I mean? I just, I don't know. Um, I'm looking at that, and it just doesn't look normal. Now, uh, put together with this piece, and clearly, this thing is not a rock, a stone, or anything, it's clearly sticking out of the ground. You guys give me your comment. Tell me what you think this stuff is. I mean, I've I, I seen this right off the bat. I was just like, whoa, I don't have to do a bloody thing to this picture, and it's right there. It's right there sticking out of the ground. Didn't do a thing. What I found, too, I think you guys will like, is this right here, too. Now, this may be nothing, because nature can do this. This is not really... Uh, but I, I, it did kind of raise my attention to it. Look at this flat rock right here. The way this... This stone is right here. See the way this goes like this? Goes across and down. It, it, I mean, again, nature could do this, but I just found that a little odd. I think what they, like I said, I said this before, and I'll say it again. I think they're up there looking at an ancient civilization or what's, o uh, what's left over, uh, you know, what's left over on the planet from this ancient civilization. I don't believe they're up there looking just for, you know, more water or b more building blocks of life. I think they knew this a long time ago, back in the 70s, and I think they're up there going, because think about it, it took them all this time to get this technology to build something to go up there and actually, like a robot, and actually go up there and do its own testing. It's one thing to send a robot up there to just kind of just drive around and nothing more, kind of like the, the Sojourner when they sent that up in 97. It was just a simple little rover with, with cameras on it. It had no digging tools, didn't have a built-in... Uh, laboratory, didn't, you know, science instruments, none of that, just basically had cameras and simple, simplistic things on it. And that was back in 97. They go, guys, we got to build something that can go up there and literally dig. Clearly, there's something up here we need to see. And again, I didn't do nothing. This is the actual photo. And this is a fisheye lens. You can clearly see that. But like I said, I wanted to stretch this thing out a little bit. I'm looking, I'm just looking at this thing and I'm at awe, like, what the hell <laughs> is that? Um, I mean, it almost looks like these weird one of these flutes or something like that sticking right out of the ground. But clearly, that's not a rock with a shadow you can see under it. And it has these little details on it. You guys tell me. I mean, what do you think that is? I mean, I don't know. Well, there it is. Curiosity caught something this time, guys. And they didn't, they didn't take this out of the picture. Why? I don't know. Maybe somebody overlooked it. Maybe there's a disgruntled employee going, hey, we'll just let that slip out once in a while. You know, get these little pieces out of there. I mean, what could do that? And what nature could do that? I don't know. Again, have a close-up look for any of you guys on the tablets and on the phones. You guys tell me what that is. They clearly can see a shadow under this thing. And I'm going to go ahead and do this. I mean, you can see it. We're up close, so it's kind of blurred out. So we'll just go ahead and do that. And one, a little bit bigger, a little bit more bigger. And you can see that. It's just, it's, it's just really one, two, and then it looks like it goes up even three. But whatever this thing is, it has a body to it. And you can see it reflected, or I should say shadowed with a neck, like a small neck and then something bigger at the top. And clearly you can see this tiny neck and then whatever this is. But this actually may be smaller. And the reason why I say it could be smaller is simply because because of the reflection of this. Clearly to me, I'm just saying to me, in my own opinion, I believe this is metal. And I think it's a highly reflective metal. And this is why we're seeing it, it instead of being a clear detail. Of course, the photos ain't 100% clear. We know that. 
But that coupled with the idea that this may be steel and sun shining off of it, think about it, the sun's coming from this direction, clearly, because there's a shadow under right underneath it, where this is this way. So reflecting back off at the camera, it, it doesn't give you a true uh, size of this object because it's being reflected. So you got a distortion as far as that goes. Uh, I don't know. You guys tell me. Anyway, not going to hold you guys up too much longer. Um, I did see these these weird rocks and this funky stuff going on right here under this so-called rock. I don't believe this is a rock either. I think, like I said, I, I think this stuff has been buried over a course of X amount of years, and we're seeing little bits and pieces of this stuff on the ground. And clearly, again, this white piece is no rock. With the details this thing's got in it, it's no rock. And this here with these weird pieces going into the ground, and I don't believe it's going into the ground. I believe this has all been fudged, and it's hiding the rest of this said object under here, and you clearly just don't see it. You know what I mean? Uh, this piece in the back, I thought this was pretty bizarre. This goes up like this, goes over, goes up, and then this thing looks like it curves around the face of it. Kind of goes up like this here. I actually botched it up a little bit. But it looks like it curves around the front of this, and then whatever this is right in the bottom. I don't know what that is, guys. I, I, don't, I don't know. But this thing clearly... Get rid of these things here. And there you go. What is it? I mean, here's the pictures. And here, again, I thought maybe that something dropped off the rover. There's the wheel marks from the, from the rover. I thought maybe it fell off. But again, wouldn't it be just laying flat on the ground or like just angled on the ground like on a rock, leaning off a rock? But it's not. It's actually buried in the sand. Anyway, guys, give me your comments. Tell me what you think this is. Is it something... Uh, you know, what do you guys think it might be? I mean, I, I don't know. I couldn't even begin to tell you, but to me, that looks intelligently made. That, to me, looks intelligently made. Of course, this is not red this time, but it doesn't really matter. That, to me, screams intelligently made. No two ways about it. I don't know if nature can do something like that, but if it can on this planet, it's crafty as hell. Anyway, guys, give me your take on it. Let me know what you think, you know. Uh, do you, what do you think it might be sticking out of the ground like that? To me, again, intelligently made, I think we, we can all agree on that, but what do you guys think it is? You think it's just, uh, you know, is it a piece of machinery? Um, to me, that's what it looks like. It looks like something intricate with parts. It could be simple, uh, for all we know, it could be a freaking Martian toy, for all we know. I mean, there's no way to vet or know what this is. But anyway, guys, give me your take on it. Let me know what you think, and, um... Stay tuned for some more videos. Got, one, got some coming up for you. So stay tuned for that, and we'll definitely see you guys in the next photo and video. Peace.